Welcome to class one of our weight training program. To achieve the sculptured physique of optimum fitness, you should combine these strength classes with aerobic training, which burns body fat and improves cardiovascular fitness. Okay, let's begin. We're going to start with a short warm up. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent right over your toes with stomach pulled in, chest lifted, shoulders pressed back and down. Drop your chin, half circles left and right. Chest is lifted, don't jerk. It's very fluid. Left and right, stomach in, shoulders back. Last time, head up, circle up, back and down. Big circles with your shoulders. This is an excellent warm up for the muscles of the back, chest and the shoulders, which we'll be using a lot of later. Keep breathing. Big circles, stomach in, hips under. Two more, 11, 12, and now arms up. Reach down, reach down, reach down. Bend your knees while we're warming up the muscles with our thighs and arms and toes. Knees right over the toes. And now reach out, Woo! reach out, pull back, reach out. Over the toes. Seven, eight. Reach, pull back. Reach, pull back. Eleven, twelve. And now step, pull down. Step, pull down. Reach, reach. This is five. Keep breathing. Seven, eight. Reach. Elbow to opposite knee. Come on, smile. Second set. Over. Elbow to opposite knee. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. Eleven and twelve. Woo! All right. Now let's sit down and slide your dumbbells to the end of the bench for the dumbbell fly. Pick up the weights, place them on your thighs, and now tuck your chin in and roll back onto the bench as you press the dumbbells up with your knees until you're holding them right over your chest with a slight bend in your elbow. Inhale, lower to the point of gentle tension. Exhale, up. Inhale, control the weights down. Exhale, up. Inhale, this develops the chest muscles. Exhale, up. And down as far as you can. And up. Make sure your wrists aren't cocked in like this. Exhale, up. Or bent back like this. And up. They should be neutral like this. And up. And eight. Elbows stay slightly bent. And up. And down. And up, don't grip the weights too tightly. Down. And up, gripping tightly fatigues your forearms. Down. And up. Last time, down. And up. Lift your knees, place the ends of the dumbbells on your thighs, tuck your chin and roll up, and you can put your weights on the floor or on the bench between your knees. We'll take a 15 second break to give our muscles a chance to rest and recuperate. Doing flies down like this works the mid-chest. Now, if you had a bench that allowed you to do them sitting at an incline, you'd work more of the upper chest. Let's get the weights into place again. Rock back, lift the weights over your chest, elbows bent and down. Full range of motion and up, then the hug in a big tree. And down, feel it in control, and up, lifting right over the mid-chest. Open, inhale, don't rush, exhale, up. And down, and up, relax grip, and down, make sure it comes over your chest, not your face or neck, and down, exhale up, and down, exhale up, do squeeze too tight, and down, and up, squeeze those pecs at the top, and down. Exhale up, don't rush, stay in control, and down, elbows stay bent, and up, and down, and up, right over the chest, last time down, inhale, exhale up, knees up, chin in, and rock up to a sitting position.
you put your weights on the bench or on the floor, and we'll take another 15-second break. These rests are very important for your muscles. You know, the dumbbell fly is particularly good because it both strengthens, strengthens, and stretches the chest muscles. Okay, ready for the last set? Let's get our weights on our thighs, to the chest, and roll back. Weights right over your mid-chest. Ready, and open. Inhale. Slowly close. Exhale. And open, don't over grip. And lift. Open. Exhale as you lift. Inhale down. Exhale up. Elbows stay bent. Inhale down. Wrists are neutral. Exhale up, right over the mid chest. And down. And lift. Down. Up, really flex at the top and down. Inhale. Exhale up. Don't rush. Inhale down. And up. Really flex at the top and down. Two more. And up. And down all the way to the point of gentle tension. And up. And last time down. Woo! And up. Weights on the thighs, chin to chest, and rock up to a sitting position. Put your dumbbells on the floor. All right. And now we'll work our biceps with the concentration curls. Get the weight in place. And now, place one elbow on one knee, the hand on the opposite knee, and place your other elbow slightly below your wrist. With your arm at full extension, lift it up all the way down. Two, and down. Three. Down to full extension. This is four. And down. Five. We want full range of motion here. This strengthens the biceps and the other elbow flexors. And down. Eight. Resist gravity. Nine. Make it work. Ten. Don't let it snap at the bottom. Eleven. Twelve. And down. And we'll work the other arm. Too tightly. Four. Five. Concentrating, keeping the wrist in a neutral position. Not cocked backwards or forwards. But straight and aligned. That's ten. And eleven. Last time. Twelve. Woo! Good. Go back to the other arm. Ready, and lift, and down. Two, all the way down. Up, down to full extension. This is four, and down. Keep your wrists aligned at full range of motion. This is six, and down. Seven, eight, <laughs> nine. Make it work, come on. Ten, don't forget to breathe. Inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Put it down, we'll go to the other arm. Ready? And lift, and lower. Two, and lower. Don't over grip the weight. We don't want you to fatigue the forearm. Five, six, seven, Last time! Woo! Put it down. Right. <laughs> now let's concentrate on the front of the shoulders, the anterior deltoids with front raises. Stand comfortably or sit at the end of your bench, feet shoulder width apart, chest lifted, stomach in, and pelvis tucked under. Begin with the weights held so your fingers face your outer thighs. And lift, don't bend your wrists, and down. Up to shoulder height, and down. Don't raise your shoulders and down. Keep a relaxed grip and control it down. Lift, don't arch your back. Up, don't let the weights roll in or out. Exhale up, inhale down. Don't hyperextend 
at your elbow. Roll it up to shoulder level and down. Ten and down. Lift, no bend at the wrist and down. Last one up and down. Bend your knees and roll down. For the next exercise, the shoulder shrugs, you may want to double or even triple the weight because you're using a larger muscle, the upper trapezius. It's this muscle right here. Let your weights hang down at your sides with a slight tension in your arms. Don't just let them hang there. Ready and up and down. Lift and down. Shoulders do the work. Don't bend your elbows. Up, down, lift and down. Keep breathing. Don't over grip. Good posture. And down, up and down. Last time and down. Now bend your knees and put the weights down. Roll back up for a 15 second break. The shrugs are excellent for strengthening your upper back. What this does is it pulls back your rounded shoulders and helps improve stooped posture. We have one more set to do. Ready, roll down, get your weights, and up, down. Developing good posture not only improves your appearance, but it can help prevent back problems. Five, don't arch your lower back. Yep, and down. Eight. And down. Keep your arms straight. All the work is done. That shoulder burn. Now bend your knees, roll down, and put your dumbbells on the floor. The next exercise, the lateral raises. I suggest you use the same weights that you were using for the front raises. Ready? Chest is lifted, stomach in, pelvis tucked under. You can stand or be seated for these. And lift and lower. Exhale, lift and down. Lift to shoulder height and Pull it down, lift, don't arch your back, and lower. Relax your grip and lower. This works the middle of the shoulder, the middle deltoids. To give you a nice broad shoulder look. Don't let your shoulders raise. You might try these in front of a mirror. That way you can make sure you're raising both arms together. Movement is very controlled. Last time, 12, and down. You may want to slightly increase the weight for the next exercise, the bent over rows. Rest your chest right on your thighs, or you can open your legs if it's more comfortable. Back of your knuckles are facing the back of the heels. Up and down. Lift it up, squeeze, and down. Don't look at the television set. Up and down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and down. And breathe and down. Relax your neck. And down. This works the back of the shoulders and down. And the upper back and down. Don't arch your back. And down. This is up and down. Squeeze and down. Last time. Well, and down. Great. Yeah. Woo. Good. Now roll up and extend one straight arm in front of you and press it across your chest to a point of gentle tension behind your shoulder and hold for 15 counts. Be sure to keep breathing, feel the tension, but it shouldn't hurt. If it does hurt, release the stretch just a little bit. That's it. And now let's go to the other side. And over. That's good. Besides stretching the back of the shoulder, this will also stretch the muscles in your back. Don't forget to keep breathing. Elbow should be straight. And don't twist your torso like this, but sit up straight. And now we'll get our weights for the tricep curls. Place one arm across your forehead so that your head is resting in the crux of your arm. Place the hand behind the elbow of your working arm to provide support and control the weight all the way down behind your head. Don't bang yourself. Ready, lift. And down. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Up. Don't arch your back. And up, full range of motion. Exhale, up. Down, up, and down. Up, don't snap the elbow. Up, and down. All the way up, and down. 10, and down. 11, down. Exhale, up, and down. And now we we'll repeat to the other side. So cross your arm, across your forehead. Place the hand behind the elbow of the working arm, and now lift. 
and down. Two, and down. Keep looking straight ahead, and down. Four, full range of motion. Exhale up, very controlled. Exhale, inhale. Up, don't let it drop. Eight, and down. All the way up, and down. 10, and down. 11, and down. 12, and down. Now change hands again. And that arm across your forehead. Ready, reach it up, and down. Extend it up, woo, and down. You can do it, come on up. Keep breathing, exhale up, and down. Don't arch your back. And down, six, and down. Keep breathing, up, and down. Sit up straight, up, and down. Don't grip too tightly. And down, this is 10. Woo, and down. All those triceps are working. And down, last time, up, and down. Change arms, one on the other side. Ready, lift it up, roll it down. Up, full range of motion. Eyes straight ahead and down. Sit up straight and down. Five and down. Six, control it down. Seven and down. Keep breathing. Eight, woo, and down. Oh, nine. And down, sit up straight now. Ten and down. Two more. Eleven. And down, last time. Oh, 12. I am down. Woo! Yeah. Oh, right. Now let's return to the mid and upper back. Watch us do this exercise several times. Then do it without watching the TV to make sure you have the proper back and neck posture. Place one knee and one hand on the bench to help support the weight of your torso and reduce tension in your lower back. Hold the dumbbell down at full extension and lift and down. Exhale up and down. Up to the side of the chest and down. Don't twist your torso. Elbow close to the body and down. Exhale up and down. Seven and down. Eight, keep breathing and down. Eyes on the bench and down. Relax your neck and down. Woo! Up, and down, and 12, and down. And now let's switch to the other side. Knee up on the bench, get your dumbbell, let it hang down. Ready, and lift, and down. All the way up to the chest, and down. If you can't get it to your chest, it's too heavy for you. Exhale up, inhale down. Bend that standing leg a little down. Up. And down. Be sure you're not twisting your torso. And down. Back is flat. And down. Breathe. And down. Don't jerk. It's very fluid. And up. And down. Last time. Well. And down. Another side again. Switch sides. Your dumbbell. Ready. And up. And down. Elbow close to the body and down. Stomach's in and down. Very fluid and down. Up and down. Don't hyperextend that standing leg. And down. Woo! And up and down. We're primarily working the lats here. And down. Give you a beautiful broad back and down. Exhale up and down. Again, up and down. Last time, 12. And down, other side. And you keep hearing that word last time. You're used to that. We're ready, woo! And up, down. Exhale, up and down. Eyes on the bench, up and down. Four and down. Up to the side of the chest and down. Get it up. Exhale, up and down. Woo! Up. How are you doing? And down. Yes, great. All right. And down. Up. And down. Two more. Up. And down. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. And we do the last set to the side. Ready and lift. And down. Here we go. Up. And down. Very fluid. Up. Go in close and down. Very 
roll. Don't let gravity pull you down. And up and down. Stomachs in. Up and down. Oh, your beautiful back. And down. Exhale. Up and down. Very controlled. And up and down. Stomachs in. Breathe. And down. Last time this side. And down. Last time to this side. Woo! Ready? Lift up and down. Two and down. Three and down. Four and down. Five. Don't cock your wrists down. You should be right below your arm. Neutral position. Up and down. Eight. Inhale down. Exhale up. And down. This is ten. Woo! Only two more to go. Eleven. You. Last time. Twelve. And down. Oh, three. All right. Four. Now, if you use ankle weights, you may want to stop the tape now and put them on because we're going to start lower body work. And we're going to begin by working the quadriceps. Sit on your bench with one leg bent, the other extended in front of you. Hands on your bench to support yourself. Ready? And lift, squeeze the quad, hold, and down. Relax your ankle, don't flex your foot. Squeeze, and down. Up, if you feel pain in your knee, try it without weights, and down. Up, if it still hurts, stop doing the exercise, and down. Up, contract that quad, come on, work yeah. it. And down, don't flex your foot. Breathe, hold it, and down. Squeeze, make it work, hold it, and down, up, squeeze tight, isometric tension, and down, and up, relax your foot, don't hold your breath, and lower, this is ten, yeah. two, Woo! three, and down, and up, this thigh should be even with this one, and down, twelve, squeeze tight, oh, you can do it, and lower, other leg now, up, Flex your foot, and down. Two, squeeze hard, don't hold your breath, and down. Squeeze, step tall, hold it, whoa, and lower. Four, work hard now, breathe and bend. Five, this thigh is level with this one, squeeze, and down. Six, squeeze hard, come on, you can do it. Yeah. And down, up. Straight. Come on, feel the quad and down. Eight. Work it. Oh, harder. And down. And up. Don't point your toe or flex your foot. And down. And down. Squeeze. Keep breathing and bend. Eyes are level. Come on, hold it. Squeeze it. And down. Last time. Woo! Breathe. Hold it. And And now we'll go on to the hamstring curls. If you don't have your ankle weights on already, stop the tape and put them on. Then get your support. For the standing hamstring curls, get a wall couch or chair to press your hip against. Your knee should stay directly underneath your hip, and your hip should press forward into the support. You're going to bend only at the knee and not at the hip like this. And with all that in mind, Lift as high as you can and lower it all the way. Lift and lower. Resist gravity. Up, up, and control it down. Up and down. Feel the hamstring muscle in the back of the thigh. Up. This causes pain in the knee or the front of the leg. Up. Try it without ankle weights. Up. If it hurts, don't do this exercise. Nine. Hold arch. Up and down, 11, and last one, down. Switch legs, press that hip into the support, ready, and lift up and down. Dolly Parton couldn't do this, bend, and down. This is three, and down. Press that hip into the support and down. Work that muscle, and down hamstring muscle, keep it working. Get it up as high as you can, and down. Breathe, and down. The 
is nine, press that hip forward and down. Ten, and down. Up, and down. Last time, twelve, and down. Very good, back to the first leg. Press it against the support and lift, and lower. Contract it up, and lower, up, down. Exhale up, and lower. Fingers back there again. Feel that muscle working. Up, down, up, and down. Exhale up and down. Nine and down. Exhale up and down. Eleven and down. Twelve and down. And now let's switch legs for the last set. Press your hip into the support. Ready, lift it up and down. Hamstring muscles work opposite the quadriceps. Important to maintain the proper balance of strength between the quads and the hamstrings. Otherwise, you've got a possible risk of injury. Watch your back. Down. Stomach tight and down. Torso erect and down. Keep breathing, and down, and down. This is 11, and down, 12, and down. Let's take off ankle weights off and get ready for calf raises. Hold on to your support. Stand up tall and raise up all the way and down. Pelvis tucked under and down. All the way up and down. Up tall and lower. Breathe and down. Straight up, all the way down. Stomach in and down. Don't watch your back. And down. Chest lifted and down. All the way up and down. Two more. Eleven and down. Last time, twelve and down. Hold on to your support and stretch one leg gently behind you. Press your heel to the floor. It was stretching your calf and Achilles tendon. Wearing high heels tends to shorten and tighten the calf muscles. So if you wear high heels, it's important to get a really good stretch, but only to the point of gentle tension. Now bring that leg in a little bit, bend the knee so you're stretching the lower calf this time. Hold it. Give a stretch up the lower leg. Tuck your hips under, pull your stomach in. Keep breathing. Chest lifted, watch for your posture. Another set, ready, up and down, up and down, lift it up and down, all the way up, stomach in and down, breathe and down, don't arch and down, legs stay straight, don't let the knee bend, all the way up and down, suck it in and down, this is 10 and down. Two more. Last time, 12, and down. Okay, let's stretch the other leg out behind you and gently press the heel into the floor. Feel the stretch in the calf muscle in the back of your leg. Keep your ankle right over your foot. And remember that developing ankle flexibility is very important for reducing the risk of injury to the Achilles tendon. And it's important for the more advanced exercises in class two. Now bring that leg in a little bit, bend the back knee so that we're stretching the lower calf and hold. Keep your knee right over your foot. That's it, keep breathing, back straight. That's it, stretch it out. Good, good. Now let's stretch our quads before we go onto the floor work. So put your hand on a support and reach around with the left hand and grab the right foot very gently, holding onto the back foot. Press that thigh back while you're pressing your hips forward. And don't let your back arch. Feel the stretch in the front of the thigh and the quadriceps. Press it back to a point of gentle tension. Good. Now let go of your foot and we'll stretch the other quad. Reach around with the right hand. Grab that left foot and gently lift the thigh. Press it back to a point of gentle tension. Ease off the stretch if there's any pain. And feel the stretch in the front of the thigh. That's good. Stretch. And now let go of that foot. 
And now, if you'd like, stop the tape and get your mat or towel for the floor work, OK? We're going to begin our floor work with some hamstring stretches. Lay down your mat or your towel, lie on your back, bend your left knee, and extend your right leg up and gently press it toward your chest, just to the point of gentle tension. Don't flex your foot, just relax it. If it hurts at all, release the stretch a little bit. You're feeling this in the hamstring muscles, which we've been using. And now bend your knee, wrap your hands behind your knee, and point and flex. Point hard and flex. Move only at the ankle. Don't roll your foot. This stretches and strengthens the tibialis muscle, which is your shin. Point. Last time, point and flex. And now the other leg, extend your left leg up and gently press it towards your chest just to the point of gentle tension. Relax your foot. Don't point it or flex it. Keep breathing. This should feel good after all the work we did with the hamstrings. Bend your knee, wrap your hands behind your knee, and point, and flex, and point, and flex. Strengthening this muscle here along the shin is a very good way of preventing shin splints. Point, and flex. Point and flex. Just move at the foot and don't roll. Last time. Very good. Now let's begin our pelvic thrusts, which tone and strengthen the gluteus muscles right here. You're going to lie back with your feet hip distance apart. And if you're using weights, you're going to place them right at the front of your hip joints. Ready, lift, release. Lift, release. Curl up, release. Keep your lower back on the floor as your pelvis curls. The scorpion curling up its tail. Up, don't jerk. It's a very small movement. Keep that lower back on the floor. Lift, release. Lift, release. Come on, really work it. Curl up, release. Up, release. Woo! Up, release. Up and down. Up and down. Keep going. Up and down. Up and down. Last time. Up and down. We're gonna take five seconds. Rest. Now let's go up on our heels and lift down, up, down, three, down, four, down, up, down. Keep the back on the floor, up, small movement, and down, up, and down, ten, and down, that's it, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down, come on. And down, up and down. 16 and down. Curl up and down. Curl up and down. 19 down. 20 down. Five second rest. Feet flat on the floor. Let your knees drop open. Ready and lift and down. Lift and down. Knees should be dropped open slightly, and you should feel a little bit more towards the outer part of the body. Lift and down. Lift and down. Can you feel it? Woo! Go for it now. Come on, you can do it. Lift and down. Get it up. And down. Lower back on the floor. Almost over. Yeah, sure. Up and down. Up. Woo! Up and down. Up and down. And lift. Oh, almost over. down next to you, pull your knees into your chest with your hands behind your knees. For those who don't have any knee problems, another really good glute stretch. Place your ankle behind your knee and press that knee towards your chest and hold. Remember, if you have knee problems, just continue stretching with both knees at the same time, pressing towards your chest. You should feel a good stretch here in the gluteus muscle. And switch sides. Press that knee into your chest. Oh, that feels good. Dan, does that feel good for you? Great for me. Oh, keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Just press to the point of gentle tension. And now release, and we're going to go on and work the outer Ooh. and inner thighs. Those of you who need added resistance may want to stop the tape now to get your ankle weights on. 
Lie down on your side, rest your head on your arm. The bottom leg is bent up as far as comfortable towards your chest. Top hip is pressed forward, abdominals in. And lift, lift. Make sure your top hip is pressing forward, not like this. Like this, we're working the abductor muscles. Lift, lift, up, up. Now straighten out the bottom leg. Come up on your elbow. Bring that top leg over the bottom leg. Ready and lift. Lift. We're working the inner thigh, the adductor muscle. Be sure the inner thigh here is facing the ceiling. Touch the muscle. That's right. Feel it work. Nine. Keep that working leg pressed back as you lift. And now bend the bottom leg again. Extend the top leg. Ready. Lift. Lift. Don't bend your knee. Up, up, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't arch your back. And 12. And drop that leg. Step the bottom leg. Ready. Lift, lift, lift. If this position causes any discomfort in your knee or your hip, you can put your foot on the outside like this. Just be sure that your inner thigh is facing the ceiling. Lift, two more, 11 and 12. Bend the bottom leg again. Extend the top leg, ready, and lift, lift, lift. Four, five, six, seven, eight and down. Nine and down, 10 and down, 11 and down. 12 and down. Straighten out the bottom leg. Top leg over and lift. Lift. We're working the adductor muscle. Feel it work. Five, six, seven. Press it back. Eight and down. Nine and down. Make sure it's facing the ceiling. Two more. Last time. And now let's turn on our other side. Lie down on your arm. Press the hip forward and lift. Lift, lift. Be sure your hip doesn't drop back. Press it forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leg extended. Up. Now straighten out the bottom leg. Top leg over and lift. Lift, lift, lift. Come on, you can do it. Press it back. Be sure that muscle's facing the ceiling. Feel it work. Eight, nine, ten, two more, 11, 12. Bend the bottom leg, extend the top leg again. Ready and lift, lift. Stomach's in, hips forward. Five, six, down, seven, down, eight, down. Keep pressing forward that hip. 11, down, 12, down. Now drop that leg, extend the bottom leg out, top leg over. Ready and lift. Lift, three, four. Don't forget if this position causes any discomfort in your knee or hip, put your foot on the outside like this. What's important is that this muscle is facing the ceiling. 11 and 12, bend the bottom leg, extend the top leg again. Ready and lift. Lift, four, five, six, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, ten, down, eleven, down, last time, down. Straighten out the bottom leg, top leg over and lift, lift. Inner thighs are working, the adductor muscle, feel it work, six, woo, press it back. The farther back you press it, the harder it'll work. 10, 11, last time, 12. Woo! Oh, very nice. good. Now let's stretch out. I want you to sit up. We're going to stretch the adductor muscles, the inner thigh muscles. So place the soles of your feet together and let your knees drop way down. Now round over your feet and hold. Breathe. Relax, stretch those inner thigh muscles. That's it. Good job.
roll up and take off our weights. And get ready to do the abdominal work. All right. We're going to begin our abdominal work by lying on our backs. Knees should be bent. Feet in a comfortable position, flat on the floor. Cross your arms over your chest. Curl your pelvis up. Lift, two, hold, three, four, five, six. Roll it back, two, and up, two. Don't hold your breath, keep breathing. And back, two, lift it up, two. Exhale as you come up, keep breathing. And down, two, lift it up, two. Pelvis is curled, chin to chest, and back. Left, you're pressing your right side over to the left, working the oblique, down to the right. Lift it up, clear your shoulder blades, and down, two. To the left again, lift it up, stomach in, chin down, curl it up, and down, two, to the right. Exhale as you come up, keep breathing. Down, two again, left. Press it up, clear your shoulder blades, chin to chest, pelvis curl down, to the right, lift, keep breathing, curl it up, and down, two, and up again, try to clear your shoulder blades off the floor, breathe, and down, two, to the right, curl it up, pelvis up, and down, two, straight up, chin to chest, don't hold your breath, keep breathing, and down, Two again, curl it up, chin to chest, pelvis tilted, reach, and down, two, come on, you can do it, higher, keep breathing, down, up, two, three, four, five, six, and down, two, all right, woo! And for the last exercise, we're gonna do the reverse trunk curl which also strengthens the abs, but appears to have a more significant effect on the lower ab region. Lie on the bench on your back and hold onto the bench behind your head to keep your upper body from moving. Bend your knees and cross ankles so that your thighs and lower legs are at right angles. If you feel more comfortable, you can do these flat on the floor like Terry's doing. And curl, curl, legs at right angles, back is flat, small movements. Curl, up, down, curl, legs at right angles, don't arch your back, up, up. Put your legs down, we'll take a little break. Maintaining strong abdominals is one of the most important aspects of a fitness program. Not only will a strong abdominal wall enable you to maintain good posture and enhance your appearance, it will also help to relieve a lot of stress on your lower back. Get in position for the second set, ready, and curl. Curl, curl. Breathe, up. Legs at right angles, up. Nine, curl, up. Last time. All right, excellent job. We're gonna do a final stretch. Lie down on your mats, it's called the morning star. Extend your left leg and press your right knee over to the side with your left hand. Curl your pelvis up and extend your right arm out to the side, shoulder height, and turn and look at that arm and keep breathing. Stomach in, pelvis tucked up so your back is slightly rounded. And now roll onto your back and extend your right leg and bend your left knee up and press it over to the side with your right hand. Extend your left arm out to the side, shoulder height, turn and look at that arm. Pelvis is curled up, keep breathing. Press, and now release. Put your hands on your thighs, tuck your chin to your chest, and come up to a sitting position, and then a standing position, feet apart. Knees bent, chin tucked in, and roll up. Very good. Stomach in, tuck your pelvis under, gently tuck in the chin, don't flex your neck like this. Now gently press your ear over to the left side to the point of gentle tension. Feel the stretch in the right side of your neck. There should be no pain. Hold the stretch to the point of gentle tension and breathe. Knees are slightly bent, pelvis is under, stomach in. Now, keeping your chin in, lift your head and press it over to the right side. Again, just to the point of gentle tension with no pain. Be sure your shoulders don't hunch up. Press your shoulders down, chest is lifted, be conscious of posture, keep breathing. 
now come up and place your fingertips comfortably on your shoulders and gently bring your elbows together in front of your chest. Try to touch your elbows together if you can, otherwise just go to the point of gentle tension. This is an excellent stretch for the middle and upper back as well as the back of the shoulder. Now, bring your elbows out to the side and then up toward the ceiling, keeping your fingertips on your shoulders. Go as far as you can until you feel tension in the side of your back and the lats. See if you can touch your wrists together behind your head. Fingertips on the shoulders, keep your head up, keep breathing. Now bring your elbows down to shoulder height and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your fingertips on your shoulders. Pull your elbows behind you till you feel a gentle tension in your chest and the front of your shoulders. This is an excellent stretch for the pecs and the anterior deltoid muscles. And release and keep your fingertips on your shoulders. Gently press your elbows down until they're pointing at the floor. Keep breathing. Keep your pelvis tucked under. Don't arch your back. Press your arms down and feel the contraction in the lats on the outside of your back. Keep breathing. Chest is lifted, head is up. Feel the stretch from the back of your neck to the top of your shoulders. And now release the stretch. Gently shake out your arms. Woo! Excellent job! Yeah.